So today we're talking about algebraic expressions. Algebraic expressions have variables that represent numbers that change. So you could represent something with the actual numbers right at that moment. However, if you then have the same situation but the numbers are slightly different, you have to rewrite the whole thing. So sometimes it's nice to represent something and it's similar to a formula, essentially. So on this one right here, we have a rectangle and this side is represented with an L for the length, and this side re is represented with a W for the width. So no matter what size your rectangle, you're always going to have a length and you're always going to have a width. If you want to find the perimeter of a rectangle, that's essentially when you add up all the sides. Just keep in mind that this side is also W. When they're across from each other, they're the same length. And then up here is also an L. Usually you write it with a little loopy cursive L. So that way it doesn't look like a 1, that kind of looks like a 1. So if you're talking about the formula for a perimeter of a rectangle, you'd say, well, we have two of the w lengths, plus we have two of the l lengths, which is also a length, essentially. So let's find the perimeter if l equals 5 and w equals 3. So in this case, w is 3, l is 5. And you can just substitute it straight in to this problem right here. So we're going to say 2, but instead of a w, you're going to put what w equals, which is 3. And then plus 2 times. In this little blank space right here, we used to have an l. However, now we know that l is 5, so we're going to pop that 5 right into the parentheses. You might say, wait, where do those parentheses come from? Just remember that when we are multiplying, we can separate the number with parentheses. This is just a quick way to separate it out so that you know it's multiplication. 2 times 3 is 6. You're going to follow order of operations. So do all your multipl multipl multiplying. Can't seem to talk today. Before you do your adding. So 2 times 5 is 10. 6 plus 10 is 16. So the perimeter, if you were to add up all those sides, would be 16. Okay, so here's the steps of what we just did. And so anytime you evaluate an algebraic expression, you're going to replace the variables with numbers that you're given. Use multiplication if the two variables are next to each other. For instance, weird happened there. Okay, for instance, if you had x and y right next to each other, once they get replaced with numbers, you would know that's 2 times 3. You wouldn't want to think of it as 23. Follow the order of operations. So anytime we evaluate an expression, we follow the order of operations. That's no different when you are substituting the numbers and then solving or figuring out the expression. Let's do a couple of examples. So you might say, whoa, that looks pretty complicated. However, first step, replace the variables with the numbers. So find a variable, x, match it up with the one you have over here. Actually, let's just circle the number itself. So we're going to put a negative 2 where the x used to be. Now we start copying down everything. Let's see, next we need a y, because right here we have a y, and y is 4. So we're going to put 3 times 4, plus 5, and now we have a z, Oops. and z is negative 3, so 5 times negative 3. Alright, so we've done our first step. We've replaced the variables with the numbers. Now we're going to follow the order of operations, and we've already put in our little multiplication symbols right here and right there for anywhere that we had the variable and the number right next to each other. And that's our next step because we do parentheses first, and inside the parentheses we'll do multiplication before addition. Whoops. Okay, let's get back to where we were. There we go. 
3 times 4 is 12. 5 times negative 3 is negative 15. So you want to keep that in mind. Negative, oh, I started to say it backwards. 12 plus negative 15 have different signs. So we're going to subtract. And 15 is larger than 12, so that makes this a negative. And just remember that when we have a number right outside parentheses, that means multiplication. So negative 2 times negative 3 is positive 6. And now that complicated looking expression is all figured out. Okay, number 2. Zoom in a little. So we've got an x right here, and we have a 3 that belongs where that x is. So we're going to write negative 2, 3 squared, remember? Make that a multiplication because they're right next to each other. And now we have y, which is negative 4. So let's replace the y with negative 4. A lot of times we'll put parentheses just to show that that's a negative, not a minus symbol. Now we want to do our exponents before we do any other multiplying or adding. 3 squared, so that's right here. 3 squared is the same as 3 times 3, which is 9. Recopy everything else. And now we've got multiplying before we add. So negative 2 times 9 is negative 18 plus negative 4. Signs are the same, which means you add. And think about it for a second. Negative or positive? It is negative because we have negative, basically 18 negatives, and we're adding 4 more negatives. So now we have got 22 negatives. Last problem, x over 5, let's just identify our variables. x is 10, so we're going to put a 10 right where that x used to be. Minus, and now we've got a y, and our y is negative 2. So we're going to put negative 2 here, maybe put parentheses around it, just to show that that's negative. Kind of keep it organized, and then we've got z, and z is 7. Okay. Think about this for a second. Order of operations, we don't have parentheses, we don't have exponents. We do have multiplication and division, so let's do that from left to right. This is our first division. 10 divided by 5 is 2. Go ahead and recopy everything else. And now we are going to do this multiplication next. Negative 2 times 7 is negative 14. I'm still going to keep that in parentheses just to keep it separate because now we're identifying that we're going to change this to add the opposite. And 2 plus 14, now it's just like regular old fashioned 2 plus 14, which is 16. And that's your last problem. So go ahead and do the next few problems on the pod and message me, as always, if you have any questions. Talk to you later. Bye.